Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to use industrial engineering's ore processing and capabilities. This is updated for X.2.4, so it may change in the future. So make sure this is uh, make sure there is an updated video if you're watching this. So to start off, if we we need to research the capabilities for the advanced ore, ore processing. So after your advanced ore processing one and two, as we can see here, we unlock three, four, and five. Three requires 500 red, green, and blue science packs. Four requires 500 red, green, blue, and purple science packs. And then the five requires 1,000 red, green, and blue, and purple science packs. So what do we get? Now for three we need obviously number two, but we also need advanced oil processing for this. And this gets us the blast furnace. The blast furnace is an upgraded steel furnace, as you can see. That does the same sort of smelting as before. Uh, however, it requires an extra resource. It requires a fluid, as you can see, fluid input, which gets us oxygen. So once we get oxygen, we can put it into the furnace and then it smelts once we give it some fuel. As we can see, it's very loud and it processes. It's also good about this furnace. Well, as you can see, it's got the same crafting speed of two, but it has a productivity of plus 25%, meaning for every one iron ore you put in, you get 0.25 out, so for every 4 iron ore you smelt, you get one four three. which while this isn't the biggest concern early game, late game bases can benefit massively, even mid game if you've got low resources. And as you can see, from that we got 62 iron plates from 50 iron ore, so as you can see we got a bit extra. So, but how do we get the oxygen for this? Well, what you need to do is get a chemical plant, and then you need to, with the advanced oil, processing you get the research of electrolytic separation which takes 300 water and gives you 100 oxygen and 200 hydrogen every three seconds so if you supply this from water as you see it'll start crafting we've got the oxygen on the right and hydrogen on the left we get the oxygen which has gone into the pipe and the hydrogen here what do we do with hydrogen well in the oil processing it's useless however with the extra aspects of the mod, you can get an oil turbine or a fluid boiler, which will use fuel to either produce power directly or create steam for turbines. So we can hook this up here and basically get some small amount of power back. Obviously, it's not as much as you put in because um, electrolytic separation or electrolysis or whatever it's called is you have to put in more power than you get max. So you only get a tiny, as you see, 145 kilowatts max from this. However, it is some amount of power, so it's free, and it helps a bit. So you can have lots of these machines hooked up to this, uh, to multiple turbines. So that's cool and all. What about the next tier? So tier four unlocks us the ore crusher. Now this is an advanced machine. It's quite expensive, crime processing units and the such. Uh, what it does is it takes ore. If we get some, uh, very loud again and creates crushed ore. Now this has a plus 50% productivity, so for every one ore you get in you get 0.5 out, or for every two iron ore you get one for free. So it's very useful. So what do you do with the crushed ore? Well, you can either put it in an electric furnace like normal to get one out, or you can put it into a blast furnace to get you to your plus 25%, meaning overall we're getting plus 50 and then another plus 25 percent on that 50. now you can't just add them together since that's not how the percentages work but as you can see we're going to get somewhere between 50 and 100 percent productivity so this is when we unlock the final research of this mod advanced oil processing fine very expensive and unlocks the ore washer uh, washing plant which again requires processing units it's quite expensive for mass scale but it's quite powerful so as you see, it's just a normal electric furnace, however it has a fluid input. Now unlike, this doesn't need oxygen, unlike the blast furnace, this wants water. So if we give it some water, here we go water. So what do we put in this? We can't put iron ore, doesn't work. What you have to put in is crushed ore. And what this does, it cleans it and you get pure iron ore out. So what can you do with this pure iron ore? Well, you can put it into a blast furnace, or a normal furnace. And this gives you another plus 50% productivity. So from this you get plus 50, another plus 50, and then if you put it back into the blast furnace, you get another plus 25% productivity, meaning you can get over double the amount of re or uh, well, 
plates out of the amount of ore you put in. So what's the ratio? Well, there's not an exact ratio. However, the one I like to use is pretty close and stays very compact. So what you do is you do something like this. You get two crashes to one washing plant to two furnaces, or they can be blast furnaces. It doesn't matter. They have the same speed. However, uh, it won't work with beaconing since blast furnaces cannot be beaconed. So what you can do then is obviously beacon these as well. Something like this is what, what I do. Oh, something like this. And there you go, you've got your beacon set up, you can put speed upgrades in them all, except obviously the blast furnaces, which will speed them up. You can't use productivity because that would be even more powerful. So if you want to do it mass scale, it's probably worth skipping blast furnaces unless you have a lot of space. And just doing this ratio of two, one, two, so two crushes, one washing, two electric furnaces, like this. And then this will output approximately half a quarter to about a third of a red belt so two to four of these will give you one red belt and it's quite compact so you can get in lots of these in a small space so don't worry about it not being the most efficient obviously you don't get the most amount of belts but the bonus of this is that you use more space for over double the resources because in the base game you can only get plus 20 percent anyway that's the mod um it doesn't for the ores it supports, obviously, it supports iron and copper, it doesn't support stone, it, the blast furnace does support making steel, and then that's the same thing with titanium ore as well, from BC Titanium. Anyway, that's the whole mod, and thank you for watching.